Hi, everybody. My name is John DePietro. And I'm Bob Zagami with the Camper Report Show. And on this Camper Report Show, Bob, I am going to tell our audience how they can, number one, camp for free all summer long. And guess what? Get paid for it. How about That's you? That's a good deal. That's, That's a good deal. deal. I'm, I'm going to have uh, Mark Polk on talking about two new courses that streaming online courses that they're developing for first timers and a couple of hints for some nice Christmas gifts with the uh, training programs they offer. So there we go. Those stories plus all the news of the week coming up right here on the Camp Report Show. Stay with us, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Camp Report Show. It's our news segment. My name is John DePietro. His name is Bob Zagami. And Bob, there is a lot of news to report, including a great story. You know, this is the time of year when you hear about giving back. And, uh, you know, the ironic part about the RV industry is that they give back year round. But Winnebago has a very heartwarming story. Tell us a little bit about that. And um, the amount of money that we're talking about is significant. It is very very significant. They have what they call a community go giving campaign, and they just raised more than $1.2 million that's going to be distributed to 270 nonprofits. And they have matching funds from the corporation dollar for dollar. But that's a significant amount of money. But what's even more important is that the program itself has increased nearly 20 times since 2016. Mm. And that, that's, a, that's an amazing number for what they do and how they do it. But you're, you're right. The RV industry is known to be very generous to others. But uh, Winnebago is right there with everybody else. Right. And the the interesting part about the Winnebago ones, it's, it's not just the motorhome and the uh, travel trailer, part, you know, the RV part of the Winnebago brand, it is the entire Winnebago industry, which is, includes Chris Craft Boats, Barletta Boats, also Grand Design brand. And am I missing any? Um, Chris, and Craft and, Chris Craft and Newmark. Newmark yep. as well. So uh, yeah, all, they do it all across the country. Yep, all the communities that those um, businesses are located in get to benefit from it. And we want to yep. say a special thank you to our friend Mike Happy and all the all the great folks at Winnebago for putting that together. Now, moving point two million dollars. <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> moving right along, our friends at KOA have, you know what? They've got another statistic out. I mean, they put out more statistics than any other company that I've seen. And of course, it all uh, leads back to the big uh, national North American camping report, which our friend Scott Bear does in um, uh, what they come out in the, just about this time next year, right? Or yeah, that's an, that's an annual report. Annual report. That's, that's annual report. Out there. Yep. And, you can tell we've now, missed it. <laughs> yeah, but now adding these monthly numbers, you're right. Yep. It, this is this is better than a math class in high school. I mean, yep. they, you, you can sit there and and read all kinds of statistics. But this one uh, mentions the impact of the gas prices on camping going into next year. And they found that 74% of campers made one or more adjustments to their travel plans, including three in 10 campers yep. who camp more as they decrease other forms of travel. That was, well, the, interesting, that was the interesting part that I was able to glean through that. And I'm not a big stat guy, but you know, there was the report they sent to us had, had so many, um, yeah, so many stats on it. But the thing that I found most impressive was that 39% of the people are changing their plans to camp more, to camp more. Now, does that mean they're going to more different places? We don't know. Maybe it means instead of saying four days, they're staying seven days. Instead of saying seven days, they might be staying 10. But camping and RVing have certainly been the beneficiary of the COVID uh, era and uh, may also be the same when it comes to higher gas prices. So, um, yeah, and it also noted that uh, one third, thirty-five percent, say they are looking for an entirely new experience they haven't had before, mm -hmm. and they're going to be looking looking towards camping. So there's more people that are doing it, whether they're renting cabins, buying an RV, renting an yeah. RV, doing a peer-to-peer -peer rental. Uh, but the people definitely want something different. 
And as of November, which we're finishing up right now, 11% of the people have already booked some of their camping for, new, for the new year. Yep. And 32% of them, they've started thinking about their travel or we begin travel before the end of the year, thinking about where they're going to go next year. So the activity level continues to increase for RVing, the RVing lifestyle, but also as a leisure activity for families across the country, across the world, yep. but certainly across the country. Yeah, and we know people that, uh, you know what, they start off their uh, Northeast camping season every year in April and go to a specific location down in Myrtle Beach, Pirate Lane is where they go. And uh, before they leave that week, they've got the following year booked already. So, um, <laughs> you know what, they're, they always are, are have camping on their mind. And speaking of camping on their mind, in order to have fun camping, it's always good to have a trouble-free RV. And Jayco is going the extra mile in trying to accomplish that goal by now opening up another giant facility for PDI. Bob, tell us what PDI is and um, why it's so important. Yeah, this is a pre-delivery inspection facility. It's their fifth one, and this one is 70,000 square feet. And what they're doing is as the RVs come off the line, Somewhere. every single RV now, they've got five of these facilities around the country, but every single RV manufactured by Jayco or Jayco family of products is inspected before it is even delivered to the dealer. Several companies have started this type of process to lessen the work that has to be done by a dealer upon delivery of it because people are waiting. They want to get in their RVs and go. And it's putting added uh, importance to the employees who build the product, knowing that before it ever leaves the property, it's going to go through another inspection to make yep. sure that the customer has a good experience when they actually deliver the product. And that's so important because the anticipation that's built up in a in a brand new RVer's mind, or even even uh, you know an experienced RVer, there is excitement and anticipation of getting that new RV. And when you find out that there are things that went wrong, uh, and you know what, they may have been right when it left the factory, but you know, traveling across the highways and byways of the United States, a few things may have come loose, and um, you know, this extra inspection may. Uh, cut down on some of that stuff. So we're yeah, happy this to one, see. This one's going to be in Middlebury, yep. uh, Indiana, where most of the Jayco's are built. But yep. this also includes Jayco, Integra Coach, Starcraft RV, Highland RV, uh, are all covered under this PDI being shipped before it goes to the dealer yep. and being done. It's and the 100% interesting. initiative. And oh, by the way, it includes all manufacturing locations in Middlebury, Shoshone, Indiana, and Twin Falls, Idaho. So kudos to Jayco for uh, putting this type of a process in as Making they check happen. every unit coming off the manufacturing floor. Very significant. Yep. The other interesting uh, stat about that is um, they'll have 100% inspection this coming year where just three years ago in 2019, it was only 55% where they would spot check. So now that um, investment in this facility is going to pay dividends down the road with, yep. uh, you know, with less headaches. So um, we're happy to hear that stuff from our friends in the uh, manufacturing business. We have said over and over again that we are part of the RV Life Network, and we are happy to announce that the um, RV Life Network has launched a brand new RV Life podcast, which will be hosted by veteran RVers, Dan and Patty Hunt. They're energetic media personalities that have been in movies, they've been in TV, they've been in radio and production and all that stuff. But they're going to bring a proven formula to the podcast design. Now listen to this, to educate, entertain, and explore the RV lifestyle and all that it entails. It's going to be available. Uh, a new episode drops every Wednesday, and you can catch it on Spotify and the Apple Podcast. And, um, you know, wherever you get your podcast, make sure you look for and subscribe to the RV Life Podcast. And we'll put the link down below that you can click on it. Take a look. There's a few of the episodes that are up there now. Um, we've, we've met these people. They're really entertaining and fun. 
And in addition to watching the Camp Report Show every week, you can listen to the podcast of of RV Life's podcast. So, yep, just another one of the benefits and features of being part of the RV Life Network. Yep, so we're looking forward the, to that. Should, benefits, the, one of the benefits that we get to put the show on every week is that we get to. Um, steal our information no actually we glean our information we don't steal it we borrow it from our friends at rv business and woodall's campground magazine we were happy to see recently when we were in las vegas our friends kessler and goldenberg and um you know what always good to get together with them and to share the information that they put out every day at rv business and woodall's with that being said, stay with us. We've got a great show coming up right here. Where, Bob? On the Camper Report Show. Mike here from RV Blogger. Don't waste hundreds of dollars on an external GPS for your RV. All you need to do is download the RV Life app right onto your phone. This app is so cool. It has RV GPS built right into it. So you can load all the specific measurements and weights for your RV. It'll give you directions safe for your RV to follow. And by the way, if you have RV Trip Wizard, directions for your trips upload into this GPS automatically. All right, welcome back everybody to the Camper Report Show. And my guest this morning is a good friend, Mark Polk from RV Education 101. And I'm sure his lovely wife, Dawn, is over in the other room packaging boxes and downloading <laughs> online courses and what have you. Uh, Mark, you've, you've done such an incredible job over 20 plus years of consumer education. I wanted to check back in with you as we get close to the holidays. But uh, let's talk about some of those new courses you were mentioning for consumers with your online streaming programs. Okay. Well, first, it's good to be back on the Camper Report, Bob, and good to see you. Um, we just actually celebrated our 23rd year in business on the 1st of November. So that was a, a kind of a milestone for us. We're chugging away trying to get to 25, uh, hopefully. So, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we want to stay relevant. So what that involves is, is keeping the most uh, the best type of training available for the consumer up to date and accurate and uh, vetted and uh, qualified information. So something that has been happening for a long time is people would take our course, say, say they take the RV orientation course to learn how the RV operates and a little bit about maintaining it. And then they'll come back and they'll email me and say, hey, Mark, you guys offer anything that's a little more advanced than this? And I, I would explain, well, we have um, we have some pretty uh, specialized type training for like towing a trailer or driving a motor home, winterizing your RV. But they're like, no, I'm talking about more advanced, like, uh, you know, repairs and maintenance. So we don't have to be taking it into the dealership and waiting for four weeks to get it fixed. Well, so you I, know, I, that, that you, you hit on a, a major point, Mark, that the one thing we hear with our seminars when, and when we talk to people is, and we all, as an industry, we understand that, the amount of time that people have to wait. And of course, the industry's got the uh, repair event cycle time initiative to bring that time down yeah. from the time that the consumer brings it to a dealership to the time that they pick it up and it, it's fixed right. So you're on to something special there. Yeah, so so I have given this a lot of thought for a long time, and I just figured it's time to do it. Um, I started working on it actually a, a couple months ago because it it's a developing a new course, especially something that's going to be in depth as this one requires a lot of time and um, energy and thought to go into it. I have to first write the entire outline, then we have to get into the lengthy process of filming. Uh, and then once all that's done and the editing's done, then I have to upload all that content into our online platform. So what I am doing is kind of like an RV maintenance and repair 2.0, okay? For years and years, we've had the RV care and maintenance uh, ebook course and the video course, but that was for beginners. That's the really basic stuff. Like, you know, hey, if not, if your outlets aren't working, go in and check the 
GFCI in the bathroom, that type of stuff. Well, now what I want to do and what I'm doing, uh, first of all, I always taught, whenever I taught consumer training on RVs, I always broke it down into the systems. Uh, and I always called that the three primary systems of an RV, which would be the LP gas system, the water and wastewater system, and then the electrical system. So that's how I've always done all my training. So I thought I'm going to keep this course kind of aligned the same way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, say, the water system, and then I'm going to break that down into all the components within the water system. So your your water pump, your fresh water tank, your water heater, uh, and then we're going to we're going to go into that and and dive down into the, the water heater and, and teach people what all the individual components on the water heater are, how that all comes together and works. And then I'm going to, I'm going to provide them with a downloadable inspect preventive maintenance inspection checklist for each one of those components. So the, 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 the way that I like to describe this, Bob is, if, if you do preventive maintenance and identify a problem early, you can avoid emergency maintenance later. So just for an example, if you're getting ready to go on a trip and you check the air in your tires and you realize that one of them is underinflated and you, you add the proper amount of air to that tire, chances are you're gonna to get to your destination without any problems. But if you don't do that, then that the lack of preventive maintenance results in emergency maintenance where you're stuck alongside the road with a, a tire failure. So I'm trying to teach people, hey, let's inspect it and identify it early and fix it while it's inexpensive and head off those problems like that result in emergency maintenance. So, so these, this these is going to be these these courses are new totally new from the ground up, but they're going to be part of your online training series, right? Yes. It's going to be a, it's going to be an, an expanded, um, like I said, RV maintenance and repair 2.0. So it's going to be a, a brand new course. We're still going to have all our other courses, but this is going to be for the guy who wants to be able to go out and inspect his rig, fix some problems, and avoid, like we said, the waiting line at the dealership to get things repaired. Now, for people who may not be familiar with you or RB Education 101, explain the importance of having gravitated the last couple of years and moving all your material to the online training. So what's the benefit for online training for consumers? Well, it used to be if you wanted to get the training, you would have to go in and, and decide which course you wanted pick a DVD and then the order would have to come through. Dawn would have to process it. She'd have to send it out in the mail. They, they'd have to wait until it came in. And then, you know, it just was a, a process. Now the benefit is number one is you have instant access and people want instant gratification. So as soon as you push that button and enroll in the course, you, you can sit there and, and start working on the course right then. The other thing is you don't have to travel halfway across the country to learn how to drive your RV or to repair your RV. You can learn how to do it in the comfort of your own home and, it, and you can view it on any device. Uh, uh, you can view it on your phone, a smartphone, uh, iPad, a laptop, a PC, whatever you have, and you have lifetime rights to that. So from the time you purchase it, if a year later, when you take your RV out of storage and you can't remember everything from last year when you reviewed the course, you can just go back in and access the course and, and freshen up on it. So there's a lot of advantages. The only thing is you, the, the uh, video is streaming video, so you do have to have an internet connection. We make some of our videos downloadable so they can download it to their computer and then they don't need the internet connection. So there are numerous advantages to the online training platform. It's the, it's the latest technology and it's so easy to use. And as you say, the big benefit is available 24 seven, 365. So if you wake up at you know midnight and you can't sleep, you can go into the office and put one on and, uh, take your notes and go out in the morning and, and take care of the uh, 
the procedures that you yeah, have. If you're camping, just say you're camping and, and the water heater won't light. You can go into this maintenance, this new uh, maintenance and repair course that we have, go to the water heater section, and it's going to walk you through some troubleshooting steps. Chances are you might be able to fix it. And then we tell you at some point, if you can't fix it, it's time to take it to a qualified RV repair facility to have yeah. it done. Um, talk a little bit about some of the products that you see uh, being most popular. We're into the holiday and gift giving season right now. What are some of the more popular training courses that people are buying from RV Education 101 right now? Well, uh, it's they're buying a lot of, of stuff. What, what we did for uh, the holiday season and what we're going to do for your viewers here is offer a discount code and they can go in and they can purchase one course or they can buy a, a complete bundled set. No matter what they get, they're going to get 15% off the month of December. But um, first of all, the, this is one of the best sellers. Absolutely. Absolutely. The Wonderful. book always yeah, does yeah. well at Christmas time. And that's that the book's available at uh, any Camping World store. It's on Amazon. And, uh, and then of course, it's on our website as well at rveducation101.com. Well, you that's know, a, we that's a big seller. And then, uh, yep. you know, if you, if you want to learn how to tow a trailer or you want to learn how to drive a motor home or you want to learn, uh, how your RV, your particular RV operates, there's a course at RV Online Training for that individual. So it's a really neat Christmas present because they can, we'll give them the coupon code and Christmas morning, they can sit down at the computer and start learning right there. Right yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to put a link down uh, at the bottom. The code is Camper Report 22, but we'll put a link on that and a little graphic with that. Yeah. And also the website so that they can go and look at all the materials that you have and 15% off is significant. Uh, they're good for gifts, but, yep. but they're good for self-improvement. You know, self buy, improvement. Knowledge. Buy, buy one yeah. for yourself and buy one for your friends and family. Yes, absolutely. We, it always does well at Christmas time. So it's a, it's a different kind of a gift, but it, you know, it's a gift of education, which is makes all your, experiences when you're out on the road more fun rather than worrisome so it's but, you know it, it's it's one of the things that's lacking in the industry we don't do enough education especially at the consumer level yeah i agree as, as you mentioned you've been doing it now for 23 years so i look forward to uh, covering your 25th i know i was one of the first media people to you were the first yeah. Having you and Don 20, 23 years. Did I have hair back then? <laughs> oh. I don't know. I think you were wearing a hat that day. <laughs> but uh, you'll, have, you'll have to come up with something really special for your 25th. I'm sure Don's already kind of kicking around ideas and asking you, can we do this or can we do that? Because yeah, we always have something happening. Yep. So. All right. So, Mark, I want to thank you very much for joining us again this morning. Uh, Good luck on those courses. Hopefully uh, in the springtime, uh, the new courses. Yeah, I think uh, by the start of the camping season, hopefully first of April, maybe we'll have it up and running. That's a, that's kind of what I'm shooting for. Okay. And in the meantime, uh, they can go to RV Education 101 and find out all about the company and the products. We'll put the code down below. Uh, best wishes for a great holiday season for you and Don. And uh, any last minute comments before I let you go? No, we wish you and May a, a Merry Christmas and hopefully 2023 will be a good year for everybody. Um, they can go directly to uh, rvonlinetraining.com and access any of the other courses right now. That's right. Oh, yeah. we'll, put, we'll put that link down there also. Well, All right. right. Say hello good, to Bob. Good talking to you, Bob. Catch up to you down the road. Thanks, Mark. All right. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
everybody, welcome back to the Camper Report Show. And you know, unless you've been under a rock, RVing is exploding. And we're here with Eva, and we're at the Blue Water booth. And Eva, tell us a little bit about the locations that Blue Water has, and then I want to get specifically into the Work Camper program. That's the uh, subject today, but uh, if you're going to be a Work Camper, you got to know where you're going to Work Camp at. Hi, everybody. Hi, John. So Blue Water, we have blown. We have really blown up. We're uh, from Maine to the Keys, all the way out to Oregon, in Texas, Louisiana, uh, everywhere in between, a lot on the eastern shore of Virginia. Maryland and Delaware, um, and growing every month, adding campgrounds left yep. and right. And we should say you're never going to see a sign that says a Blue Water campground. I mean, you you run campgrounds under other brands. Yeah, think of us uh, as an umbrella company. Um, we either own or manage uh, campgrounds uh, for ourselves or other companies. Um, so we all bring them in and do the Blue Water. Do the Blue Water Way. The Blue Water Way. Some yeah. are KOAs and some are Sun Outdoors. Some are Jellystone. A little bit of each. A yeah. little bit of each. Some are independent. Right. So well. when you're looking around, folks, do not look for the Blue Water name because you won't find it. <laughs> okay. But look, at Delaware, Florida, you know, you mentioned them all. But yep. um, the thing that I know firsthand from visiting a Blue Water property is that they're special. And like you said, the Blue Water Way, everybody treats you as a guest, not as a customer. And uh, that makes a difference. And you know, most of those people, or many of those people, are work campers. And first of all, Eva, tell us what a work camper is, and tell us why people should consider it. So so work camping is a fun, if you're a full-time camper, it's a fun way uh, to be on the road, and an inexpensive way to be on the road. because. You work a little bit, and then you get your site free with us uh, at any of our campgrounds. Um, and we're hiring all over the place right now. Uh, it depends on what you do, what you can bring to the table, whether it's maintenance, front desk, housekeeping. Uh, there's many different available positions. A uh, wide variety of skills. A wide variety of skills. And, and we do singles. We do uh, couples. Uh, you know, if you're a couple traveling around, but um, both spouses don't have to work for you, right? No, no. As long as one person at least is working yep. full time, um, your site's included. And you see the sign that says flexible hours, so it's not like you have to work weekends only, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, and, and all hours paid. You, you get paid. It's not you're just trading for a site, right? Right. You get paid and you get your site for free. Okay. So and depending upon where you are, that site for free per month could add up to a sizable dollar amount. Absolutely. In the summertime, some of our summer campgrounds, uh, the monthly site can go over $2,500 a month in July. Yep. So that's, uh, it's and, and then you get to enjoy the campground too. And if, if you like the program, you like Blue Water, there's lots of opportunity to go to other campgrounds. And that was my question to you. So say, for example, you like New England, as I ask you to move to the other side as we, <laughs> as we look to here. Say, for example, you love New England in the summer. Yes. Okay, but camping in snow is not really good. But you love camping. Can you then go to a uh, southern location and continue your work camping? Absolutely, absolutely. There's a whole program where you can travel to all of our places if you want. Mm. Um, just put in your, your request of where you want to be, um, and we'll do our best to get you there. Again, it, it depends on what you're looking for and what you can bring to the table and what, you know. Okay, so for example, some of the people that you've met along the way in the Work Camper program, um, what are their background bills? What, what, what? We've had everybody from CEOs of companies to, to school teachers to maintenance people, firefight, you know, retired military, um, every, lots of different backgrounds and walks of life. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, another thing I was told, I want to make sure I got this right, that if you are a couple and you work um, as a work camper, you kind of have the flexibility that um, you can work at the same time or work at opposite hours, right? Absolutely. Depends on how much you want to spend time together. Right. To... <laughs> Depends how yes. long you've been married. <laughs> 
you oh, might want to you might want to work opposite shifts. Exactly, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. We'll work with you on that, or yeah. you might want to work the same shift and request the same day off, and then you could both, you know. Yeah, absolutely. But absolutely. flexibility flex really is the key. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, there are work campers with you that have been for a long period of time, or do they like do three months and they're done? Uh, most we we like them to be there the whole season, open to close, and each campground is a little different as far as uh, that goes. Some, you know, a lot of the ones on the eastern shore, uh, the Delmarva Peninsula, uh, might be April first to late November. Um, the northern campgrounds are like May to okay. mid-October so and some of them are open year-round so you might want to do you know six months here and eight months there and then just travel any extra so. incentive for staying the whole season yes they they do uh, offer a end of season bonus potential ah. uh, program for work campers so uh, you know it, it really is a great company to work for I've been with them for five years and there's lots of opportunity for growth and and you know right. or we, not if you just want to be right. a camp host and you know and we should say that uh, Blue Water is not just campgrounds but um, there are hotels and other facilities that you manage oh, okay. that you may want to uh, branch out um, but I know when I visited the headquarters not too long ago, I was impressed with the with the wide range of opportunities that people that work at Blue Water have. And I think today's marketplace, people don't want to do the same thing all the time. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, there's potential amount of uh, opportunity for growth. Yep. Absolutely. Family owned business, not a big corporation. Nope, nope. We're we're a tight knit family. Everybody knows everybody by the first name and. Uh, we, we play and we have fun, we work hard and we play hard. Right. Absolutely. That's the yep. way to do it. Yep. So, Blue Water Development, uh, I think there's a website here somewhere, right? Oh, there we go. It is. Look, I don't even have to put these up on the screen because they're right there. Blue Water Development. B Y B W. Say it. BWDC.com. Dot com. And tell them Eva sent you. Thanks for joining us here on the Camp Report Show. Thanks.